Brad leading off the inning. Matt Joyce. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. And that's in there for strike one. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Francisco Cervelli stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Mm. Hard to believe he let that one go. He, that was right on a platter for him. Bases are empty, one man out. And he Three. struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that's a rough night at the ballpark here. Third strikeout. One thing you can't do, though, you can't go into that dugout hanging your head. You got to think, hey, it's over. I'll get another shot to redeem myself. Whether that's tonight or, or sometime in the future, that's the attitude you have to have. Jung Ho Gong will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates as the lead holds at 10 to 6. Neftali Feliz is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Neftali Feliz. Hanley Ramirez ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. There to take it is Marte for the first out. Number 25, center fielder, Jackie Bradley Stepping Jr. Stepping in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Feliz is ready. Here comes the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Grounded to the right. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Well, if you're looking for a reason why this club is losing, three errors so far in the game. Well, the fundamentals, they're just nowhere to be found right now. Travis Shaw comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. And you don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full 3-2. High in the air out to center field. There to take it in is McCutcheon now for route number two. And 
this will prove to be a heads-up play at first as he tags up and moves into scoring position now. But you could go a whole season and not see this happen. I think what helps make this work is that no one in the ballpark expects anyone to tag up from first and try to advance. But he sees an opportunity. And that's a heck of a hustle play to get into scoring position. Ryan Hennigan is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Grounded weakly toward third. To his right, gone. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all. As Striding in to start the ninth, Gregory Polanco. And they'll need him to get something going here. Gregory Polanco. Ripped on the ground to first. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Yeah, that's a nice swing right there. He just gets out in front of this one and rips it down the first base line. The problem is, that's not the deepest right field corner. In fact, that might be the shortest right field corner with the old pesky pole down there. So he's going to take a big turn at first, think better of it, and then turn around and hang on with the single. Ziegler is there, one away. The batter, number 10, shortstop. Jordy Mercer gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. First pitch on its way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Craig Kimbrell is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Starling Marte will stand in now. And hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. Number I'll tell you what, seven. they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now with five RBIs to his credit already and a chance to add on some more. And you know, Matt, the way he's attacked the baseball so far, why stop now? Kimbrell's ready. First pitch on its way. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Bradley going back. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And it'll be a sack fly and an RBI as that'll cut this to a three-run deficit now. Next for the Pirates. David Freeze makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. That's not looking too good for him anymore, but you know what? There's no clock in this sport, and that's for good reason. You've got to fight for all 27 outs. High and deep to left center field. Bradley going back, and the run is in to score from third. Around third and being waved on home, but not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Boy, how close was this to getting out of the ballpark? We're going to get another look at it right here. And I don't think it missed by a whole lot. You'll see it does indeed hit up near the top of the wall. Boy, he would have loved the three-run homer. I think he's going to settle for that two-run double. Trying to hold the lead. Squared that one up just a little late. Set to deliver the 0-1. Hit sharply toward the right side. Around third and being waved on home. The runner from second crosses the plate. Catcher, Francisco Cervelli. Koji Uehara will be summoned here as he'll try to get the final out to keep this game tied heading into the bottom of the ninth. Francisco Cervelli will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame. 
And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. It's just blistered into right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. From four runs down to start the top of the ninth, can you believe these guys have fought all the way back to take the lead? You know what? That's the attitude you've got to take. Until that 27th out, anything can happen. Jung Ho Gong steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Bogarts is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So, boy, the wheels really came off the bus here in the top of the ninth as a huge ninth-inning rally has totally changed the complexion of this ballgame. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Pirates lead it 11-10. Number 40 will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. Joyce scoops it up, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Rips this one to first. And this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. The second baseman, number 15. Dustin Pedroia Dustin comes to the plate now with the time run at first. So he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. One out and a runner on second base. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And in this spot, you got to pitch for the strikeout here. And this is a guy that's gone down twice so far. So you do have that in your favor. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Some guys live for this situation on the mound. There's a guy in scoring position. You lead by just a run. It's all on you. And then you go out and punch someone out like that? I love it. Xander Bogarts has a chance now to bring home the tying run standing on second base. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. High and deep to right center field. Back goes Polanco. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the run is in to score from second. Around third and being waved on home. And that, folks, is a game-winning inside-the-park home run. And that, my friends, is something I have never before seen. Really one of the most entertaining World Series games we've seen in a long time. What a finish here as they come through to win this in their final at bat. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game.